guys, what's up? How's it going? Uh, I'm Enrique and this is Easy Pictures to Draw. Hopefully you're having a really good day. Um, today I'm going to go over, uh, oh I'm sorry, let me first tell you what the channel is dedicated to. The channel is dedicated to drawing cute stuff and caricatures. So cute uh, caricatures are must le uh, much less frequent than the cute stuff. I find the cute stuff uh, enjoyable. Uh, it's also just, I don't know, it's, I just like it. Um, caricatures are the only so many people you can draw, I feel. Uh, but we're going to do this in uh, marker. And I'll tell you today's topic, if uh, I'm sure it's on the subject of the video. It is how to draw a baby wolf um, howling, you know. I'm going to draw a baby wolf howling. So it's a very specific baby wolf. Uh, anyways, let's kind of get into that, and I'm going to be using this marker. It's going to be in black and white, by the way. This is the Faber-Castell P.I.T.T. Artist Pen. So, just going to be aware of that. Good. Good marker. Great marker. The thing I love about it is it doesn't have that horrible, horrible stench that Sharpies tend to have, because they use, they use a lot of Sharpies. You know, if you know, if you know anything about the channel earlier on, I used to use nothing but Sharpies. So I wanted to eliminate that, and this is the way to do it. So, anyways, let's get into it. The wolf, uh, baby wolf howling. So, we're going to be starting with the head. The head's going to be bigger than normal. I am going to... You could actually do preliminary pencils, or you can just use a marker. I'm just going to use a marker for this. I'm going to start with the wolf's uh, kind of outer mane, I believe that they call it. And that's going to be these riveted, riveted, riveted lines. You know, it's going to be the hair. You're trying to give the illusion of shaggy hair. It's going to pull up. Top of the head. Pointed ear. Kind of a big forehead because the features on the wolf are going to be smaller since so it's a baby wolf. Pointed at the front, pointed at the nose, and kind of an open little mouth, you know. Uh, now we're going to fill in the eye. Yeah, it's going to have a closed eye because it tends to have closed eye when you sing or, or howl. the top of the eyelid and the bottom of the eyelid hopefully it looks like it's closed and not just like has no eye that's a closed eyelid then go right here draw that triangle for the front of the nose You gotta go down and pull into the back shape. It's gonna be sitting on his hind legs. Pulling down. And this is like a big C. It's hind leg, you know, it's kind of his knee combination, combination of the, the, of the knee area. It's gonna be like a letter C, almost like a backwards C. It's going to pull into the arms. Paw. The paw closest to us. 
It's going to be three rivets. It's going to be, I don't know, I say like baked bread or something. It's going to pull up. The chest. It's going to have the same rivets. Back, uh, hind paw. You can pull the rivets all the way down, or you could just have them there. I'm going to put little nails at the bottom as well. The nails uh, give it character. And then the hind uh, hind paw is well, really just one that you can see from our angle. Actually, there's one thing I forgot. I forgot the far side ear. And then you can put in the tail. I like to put a curvature, kind of a curvature into the tail there. Uh, just to kind of make it look a little more, I don't know how to say it, just make it look a little bit prettier. Just make it look kind of fancy. Pulling back. Similar rivets to the front. And it's kind of up to you how you want to make that. It can make it look like a wing of some kind if you want. Pulls all the way down. Now let's go a little bit more into the character, a little bit more. We're going to go into the ear. Put the inner portion of that ear. That's pretty much it. Oh, also there's a nail here in the back. And the hind paws, I wanted to put uh, the nail. And there is a choice you can make here. You can do what uh, I'm, I'm about to do actually, which is, uh, well actually let me put a little line here. You kind of go around the character, maybe put some little nicks here. Just try to uh, kind of Just try to, um, how do you say that? Make it more, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Just put some more detail into it, really. Uh, I'm going to put a thick contour line around it because I tend to do that. Contour line is the outermost line only. I kind of always talk about why I do that. I think it tends to bring out the detail in uh, in the character and or design or drawing. Take your time. The thing I've noticed the most about um, some of the artists I admire um, is how they go relatively slow. They, they, they're very precise on purpose. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's a pretty much an exact, like, it's not exact, but it's, it's like almost pretty much a science to this. So, I want to take this opportunity now that I'm pretty much, I think this is about, that's about it. Um, if you guys want other wolf poses let me know and I'll try to make that happen uh, just you just gotta tell me um, so I'm gonna say one thing check out uh, I'm sorry like the video if you can if you did like this drawing if you're following along you know let me know how you're doing uh, comment and uh, uh, please check out the other videos on my channel I'm gonna put uh, obviously a little what do you call that those little annotation type things at the very end of this uh, it's gonna have the latest video it's gonna have a subscribe to this channel um, also, uh, some of those uh, choices will be in the um, description to this. Um, 
And uh, one last thing about that is there will be a secret video uh, toward the bottom, you know, just to kind of guess which one that will be. It might be from this channel, it might not be, but, uh, you know, it's the secret video is always something I found interesting, and I think it's maybe of value to you guys. So uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate the watching, and I'll see you soon.